Hi, I'm Dr. Nitin Tana, Chief of Breast Imaging for the MRI Group and the Suzanne H. Arnold Center for Breast Health. Breast MRI uses a powerful magnetic field, radio frequency pulses, and a computer with the breast positioned in a dedicated breast coil. Breast MRI provides information that cannot be obtained with breast ultrasound or mammography. However, breast MRI is not a replacement for mammography or breast ultrasound, but rather a supplemental test to detect and stage breast cancers and other abnormalities of the breast that may or may not be visible by mammography or breast ultrasound. After you are scheduled for your breast MRI, you will receive a call from one of our breast care nurses at the MRI group. She will review your medical history and answer any questions you may have about your test. She will also ensure that you are scheduled during the appropriate time of your menstrual cycle if you are premenopausal and are having a routine screening breast MRI. The MRI group performs all breast MRIs at the Lancaster General Health Suburban Outpatient Pavilion. Please park and enter through the 2104 entrance. We are the first suite on the right. You will be asked to provide current insurance information and photo ID upon arrival. After registration, a breast MRI technologist will go over additional questions and instructions and then escort you to a dressing room where you will change into scrub pants and a gown. All jewelry, except wedding bands, will need to be removed. A locker is provided for your valuables. You will be taken into the MRI room and an IV will be started in one of the veins in your arm. You will then be positioned on your stomach with your breast suspended through an opening in the coil, which is the antenna used to generate the images. You will feel a plate against the outside of each breast. This will keep your breasts from swaying when you breathe. It will not be compressing your breast tightly and should not be painful. Tubing will be connected to your IV. You will be given headphones so the technologist is able to talk to you, as well as a squeeze ball should you require assistance. Satellite radio is available if you choose to listen to music. The entire table will slide into the magnet. A technologist will talk to you in between scans. About halfway through the study, contrast will be injected through your IV, which will highlight any abnormal tissue in the breast. It is crucial that you do not change your position. While images are being acquired, you will hear loud tapping sounds. The entire study takes about 30 minutes. After completion of your breast MRI, you may resume normal activities. Your results are locally read by a select group of board-certified radiologists of Lancaster Radiology Associates working at the Suzanne H. Arnold Center for Breast Health. Physicians in this select group have additional experience and training in breast imaging and intervention. After breast MRI, the radiologist may request a targeted ultrasound and or additional mammographic images. Additional imaging, or a biopsy, is requested to provide the most comprehensive assessment of the extent of disease in order to appropriately tailor your treatment or clarify findings seen on the breast MRI. Whether this is your first or annual MRI of the breast, we realize that this test can produce a lot of nervousness or anxiety. I want to reassure you that I spent a lot of time investigating various MRI systems and dedicated breast coils to ensure your comfort and safety, while at the same time trying to get the best diagnostic breast MRI images using equipment of latest technology. I hope you found this video helpful. If you should have any feedback about your experience with the MRI group, please feel free to contact us at the MRI group website www.mrigroup.com